badass twin turbos. Yeah, y'all came definitely at the right time. Can you can imagine yeah. just driving a Taco Bell and you see that women pass you at 200 miles an hour <laughs> on the highway? Welcome to the, the F5 side of things. This Thank is you. where we build all of the uh, America's hypercar. Yep, so and that one was at Monterey, right? This one was at Monterey. This is the car you rode in. Oh, and now okay. you're going to drive today. Oh, I get to drive? Yeah, okay. so no more steering issue. All right, I'd like to hear that. But It'd be a little more fun with the steering issue, a little more element this of danger. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is kind of how the, the cars come to us, but these are all the the big boxes, that would be the chassis and the tub, and then we all the We call it a cock. Other... What did he say? This what, is, I think, a record number of cars we have in here, if we count this one. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Old. twelve. Twelve. That's, awesome. That's record for in here, I think. I think eleven was the previous That's pretty record. amazing, That and that'll actually really help as we configure one, because you can go Yeah, well, at... you can see a lot of stuff, so like, exactly. you've got the... That's such a, a perk. The infamous one-off. Wow. You can see the full carbon, and like, in the light tunnel, too, is really cool. You can see all the details. Is this just for images, and or is this for, like, detailing? No, this is for, like, looking over the vehicle before they leave, and oh, as they wow. arrive. So when that car is unboxed, it'll come in here to look for imperfections, cool. look for things like that. We should peek in some of those boxes. <laughs> what a great way to start the actual production process. Yeah, this What's is that? the very first. Yes, yeah. let's check out the cock. Your words, not mine. I know, <laughs> I know. This would know. literally be the very first step. So yes. all of the car shows up in these boxes. So this is the car as it is now. This is actually cool because it has. This is crazy that this is beyond a cock. What? This is yeah. like a cock and chassis. Yeah, it's See, this is this is the chassis one. built on. Oh, that's all one piece. Yeah, I mean it's one enormous piece. One. <laughs> yeah. So if you look on this car, like oh we can, but the nuts come separate. <laughs> what do you mean by that? He's, like, trying, he's trying to hold it I'm together. Just, I'm trying to be professional, <laughs> but it's really hard. <laughs> That's also what so she said. If you look at this white car, you'll yes. see there's very few cut lines, and that is what you're seeing here. So because like the front seeing, clamp yeah. is one big piece, like you see on the That's carbon carbon. Crazy. There. So that whole middle to rear is what you're seeing in this box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is All pretty right. cool. So this is the revolution. It has the wing on it. When are you guys? Oh. When yeah. are you guys gonna get started on this one? Today. This is neat. Yeah, it's very this cool. This is very cool. different than, we've seen the Ramak Navera, which was a very automated, extremely techy, huge sure. process, And but he's also building drivetrain systems for major manufacturers. Yeah, BMW like different and that, yeah. We've seen Pagani, which is more similar to this. It's boutique. It's, it's boutique yeah. and they have different stages. Like this is neat. It's like, I don't know, it's it's exciting. Right. It's it's everybody's kind of all hands on deck here together. Yeah, it's part of kind of the culture. It's our DNA, awesome. you know? Once we'll get it out of the box, it'll come over here into one of our open bays. Yep. It'll get put on these little uh, so this one was in a box saws. pretty recently yeah like okay. a month ago and then right. it just stays in this one spot until it's got a full completion oh, for, for so powertrain and everything so you guys will block up the chassis the mm -hmm. front end is in one of those separate boxes correct so right now the front is in one of those boxes. we'll marry uh -huh. that to the to the chassis yeah and then we'll start on powertrain and do internals and is, then... it, is it coming with any like suspension or drivetrain components and no that's all here that's all done here so yeah. you guys you guys are sourcing building doing whatever you can to get all those parts and then assembling it right so this car will live in this spot until, until it's, it's done? Until it drives over to that platform to get aligned and then off to the dyno. That's so cool to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. Do you guys, um, will you have like one or two techs work on the same one or is it different guys that are specialized? It's a good question. So we've got six techs on our team. Right now, it kind of depends on the priority and where, sure. where the priority lies. Yeah. Like we're doing a lot of testing and development stuff right now uh, as well. Yeah. Um, kind of looking towards some records. As so you should be. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's usually, you know, one or two guys that are going to yeah. be working on that. And then we'll assign one tech to each individual car okay yeah I got you. Yeah, That's so when the when one. the chassis lands here, it's about a month turnaround for it to be fired up and then off to the dyno and then so test one, driven. So one tech might get through the entire car himself? Yeah. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, it's cool because they, I mean, they take a lot of pride in it. And like I said earlier, when they sign the back of the engine yeah. cover, I wonder if there's an engine cover we can look at because it's really was. cool. They all look Surely, fixed. underneath here. Give me a hand here. Don't drop that, Tommy. So oh, wow. everybody signs the back yeah. of it, which is a pretty cool touch. So the Where's whole team. Where's your signature? I got a terrible signature. It's somewhere on here. <laughs> is, that, is that part of a That's city? me. That's me. That's me. <laughs> This is Nathan. No, he's, he's got a way better signature. Head of design, of course. He dated it too, I think. Or Dude, yeah. All right, that's, all right. Nathan's built different, man. He's built different. Obviously, I knew it was gonna be light, but that's like it feels like a paper plate. Yeah. Like it's so it that's crazy. Yeah. It's the whole car. That's every yeah. piece. All right. It's their own baby. What's the average tenure of of one of your techs? Hey, Paul. How long have you been with us, man? Thirty years. <laughs> feels like feels it. Like it. <laughs> Same. That's Eighteen, funny. twenty what's years. The, what's your favorite favorite Venom that you've worked on? Oh, stop. There's got to be one that you... I actually like chapter 9 down there, that orange. Yeah, that's such a cool oh, color. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Habanero. Yeah, so every car also has, we come, like, internally, we have, like, a code oh. name for it. So Habanero, that one, what did we call the green one? Oh. Oh, right. There's another funny one in here. Captain America's chassis 7 over there. Squidward. 
Squidward, yeah. yeah. We're, Squidward and Squillian, which are these two like blue Stop. colors. Yeah. Will you just pick a vulgar or a sexual name for yeah, us? Yeah, we'll do All that right, one. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right, Alex. Dude, Steve? Can you secretly Easter egg your car with inappropriate things? Yes. <laughs> don't even, don't even I, tell I, did, us. I, I heard that you guys Easter egg with not with inappropriate things, but you guys will put like logos and stuff that is unique and very like heartfelt. Yeah, we generally like that. Yeah, yes, but yes. what if there was heartfelt and funny? Yes, that would be good. Like a, that's what Maybe she we said. Have one funny secret one that's like uh -huh. super low. You should. Key. Yeah, There's just a penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of, it's, like it's super John, low key. There's just a penis yeah, in the seat, the driver's seat. seat. It's John Hennessy's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bro. Nathan's about, like, to yeah, he's about to die. <laughs> this is that orangish red that I was telling yeah, you about. Yeah, so yeah. it is orange, but it's a lot more red, it's, I think. Huh. So like we'll show you them side by side, the paint samples, but Oh, and it's got a like a metallic undercoat too. Mm -hmm. So That's super cool sparkly. Spec. It's a really bright color and the sunlight it pops a lot. So what is this one in here for? So a lot of these cars were at Car Week. They're all mm -hmm. receiving like service like, and yeah, just brief warranty things like that, and then off to back to their customers. And I know that they have to be maintained as well. You can't just run a car for three years without having yeah, exactly. annual maintenance most, I mean, done. a lot of I would say half of them don't really drive them, but the other half really drive. So like this guy really drives right. his car. So Good. we're like we want to do it once over. We want to uh -huh. update it with whatever we need to update it with, and then Good. we'll send it back to him. So Very it's cool, off man. to back to his house in like a week. Very cool. Yeah. Do you guys see a surge in orders from like different places in the U.S.? Like where, where are the Miami. most? Miami. Miami? Yeah, there are okay. a ton of cars. We probably, I think we have like what, nine cars in Miami? Actually? So you can kind of see them in their different phases here. Like chassis 19, the sister carbon car here is going to be the most raw that you'll see in the factory. Um, I mean, this is about as hand built as it gets, buddy. I love it. I love it. It's a small team. There's like 20 of us and yeah. we're all, you know, we call it the SEAL Team 6 here. Like uh -huh. we're the, the Navy SEALs of the power world, yeah. if you will. This is the sister one that's still being built. Yes, exactly. So you can kind of see it in its, all of its wow. glory here. This is Amazing. the whole powertrain right here. That's a cool shot. Big yeah. ass twin turbos. Yeah, y'all came definitely at the right time. You can kind of see these cars in their different phases. So Usually when I come, it's not at the right time. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> this not. is a really nice color. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got do. metallic gray accents, which yeah, I think is really cool. The seat stitching looks exact, mm -hmm. almost exactly like the Porsche acid green. It's a little more green than yellow though. Yeah, I really like the spec. I think the louder colors, I think they work better personally in my in my opinion. I think this spec is really cool too because a lot of contrast, especially because there's so much, so like every carbon bit that you see is included in the car. It's not, okay. there's no option on like all the carbon that you see because yep. it just comes with something. The whole car is carbon, but I think having like a white or a brighter color Pops lets, the lets more. all the carbon pop yeah. a lot. Yeah. So like black, it's cool. It's menacing, but it blends in a lot yeah. more. So Agreed. But it's cool for you to be able to see all these colors and kind of start letting your, your brain kind of think about what you may or may not like. Even with like the colored steering wheel a lot. That's a yeah. cool touch oh, on yeah. this car. Yeah. Even with the Pagani, the dark blue, we didn't realize how much carbon it had until we got the gray one and we're like, we were There's comparing and we're like, apparently this blue one had a lot of carbon, yeah. you just don't see it. Yeah, exactly, it just blends. So this is the Roadster right here. Yeah, that's a Roadster, Roadster Revolution. This is a Revolution Coupe. That's a Roadster, that's a Coupe. That's chassis number one I Coupe. The very first oh, F we ever built is that car. I'm and assuming that's John's or? No, it's not. It's a, a customer that has too many cars and not enough space. So we've wow. been storing uh, like, it for I'll take chassis long, number one, why not? Some time. You're only building 99 total I nine total cars, yeah. You got the Coupe, the Roadster, the Revolution Coupe, the Revolution Roadster. Yep. You said about 30 of the Roadsters. Yep, 30 Roadsters. Not the Revolution, so yeah. pretty. I didn't actually realize, like, yeah. I'm sure John or you told me along the way, I just forgot how yeah. limited yeah, I mean, these are building these. 99 exclu is exclusive in itself, yeah. but like to have these, you know, 24 uh, revolutions, 30 roadsters is like yeah. even more exclusive. Yeah. And truly, like, you also see, we don't repeat one, we will never do the same spec again. Sure. We won't repeat colors. Like, if you wanted the same white, sure, but we'd have to change something. We'd mm -hmm. have to do accents different or something. But well, every of, car is kind of really one to one. You might already set up a Yeah, so this system. is owned by the same guy. And yeah. Were well, those the other two that were in Monterey? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, you were talking there about that. There were two cars that are kind of like historic for us, which uh -huh. are two Vipers, that, which is where Venom kind of comes from back yeah. in the 90s. And they're Vipers that we still own today. And so they're the inverse kind of, they're, one's white with blue stripes, the other one's blue with white stripes. So he wanted, he calls it. these the legacy cars, so. Is that the key? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Bro, can I hold it? Yeah. Ooh, it's got some weight. That's really awesome. Yeah, so Ooh. there's a cool story Unique. to the key. Yes. You see this little piece here? Yep. So there's a lot Serial of aerospace and just space in general that's embedded within the DNA of yep. the car. And a good friend of my father's uh, is an astronaut. He used to be the head astronaut over all the astronauts. He was the captain of the space station at one point, right? Yeah. He has this piece. There's a much longer story that John tells, but. And he cries. <laughs> yeah, he, do, he loves to cry in this uh, story. Uh, <laughs> he's a funny cryer. Yeah. 
He'd love to see him cry. Anyway, long story short, this friend of his, this astronaut, gave him this piece that essentially was in space. Yeah. And he gave it to John as a gift, and we machined it down and put every serial number and put it in the key with every car. So you have also, a piece, pieces so you have a piece of space in your and key. That was, and it's made and that out a, of the same material. Yeah, this is ink and oil, which is the same as the exhaust. Tell me about the shape of the key. What is, yeah, what is the shape of the It's the shape of the headlight. The shape which of is, the headlight. Which is like an F. F, yeah. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. Just finished that factory tour. That was super freaking cool. Now I'm gonna do the fun part and that is enjoying this awesome Venom F5. We're gonna go drive it and hoon it. This is ultimately what determines if I'm gonna buy it. So let's hope that it's really fun. You guys will see my reaction in just a little bit. That's just sounds like nothing I've driven. Woo! All right. Uh, downshifting. Yeah. This is a raw ass single clutch uh, transmission. You get really used to it. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even notice. I didn't feel it with you, so. Yeah. I'm amazed at how well this grips the road. I'm like, I'm not gonna go 170, don't worry. Yeah. That's good. Right, that's f***ing badass. Perfect. You were a little nervous when I was braking, weren't you? No. Not at all. Trust me. All right. I have had people that I am nervous with. I got you. <laughs> So I went around and Houston crossed his uh, Koenigsegg Regera and oh, yeah. he's like, the Koenigsegg's the one I go when I'm just angry and I'm like, this is this is like the car you want to drive when you're just angry yeah. and you just want to go beast something. Hell yeah, brother. Well, Thanks yeah. for trusting me. Yep. Neutral? Yeah. Parking brake? And you can just hit off. Okay. And it'll Same as ignition? Brake. Yep. Badass, man. Cool. That's fun. <laughs> he laughs. Dude, how was it? That was really fun. That's that's well planted. Like, I was telling him, it's, remember when Houston said the Regera is the car that he goes and that's what he drives when he's angry? Yeah. Like, this is the, the car The brakes where... are smoking. <laughs> Do you see it? Can you see yeah. it? Is the camera getting it? <laughs> I was hard on the brakes. I mean, I know you were definitely, you know where to, I've you don't need to brake. Here. Yes, yeah. yes. But I had to brake harder to make up for my overspeed. This was great. And obviously we're not gonna drive like that in real life conditions. You are gonna watch me do what is one of my favorite things to do in the world, and that is spec a vehicle because I'm gonna get one of these things in one year, right? Yes, sir. One year, all right. <laughs> it's recorded. Uh, <laughs> so Tommy and I walked in here and then we completely rechanged the entire spec because we thought that another color might look great. So we had them kind of reset the default settings, which is never a prettiest car. It still looks great, but as you know, default is never super pretty. So we're gonna spec this thing out, what we think is gonna be an even cooler spec, not to mention we also completely changed the model of the vehicle to the Revolution Road because we saw the base roadster, it looked great. The great thing about being here is you could just walk downstairs. I took a bathroom break and I'm like, yeah, the, the, the revolution's the right way to go. You just, <laughs> everything's bigger in Texas. So, so we might disappear a few times to a quick look at something down there to verify, make sure it looks good. But yeah, let's, let's spec out the revolution roadster. So let's paint color, it. right? Yep. So let's start with the color that you guys are thinking. Any thoughts? Yeah, I think it'd be cool to like pay tribute to your first son on the Napier green on that car. Yep. Was Rest super in pretty. Rest yes. in peace. All right. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. Rest in pieces. Yes. Yeah, so, Rest in pieces. So we're gonna try and do a Napier green and see what that looks like. I mean, at the end of the day. So and Nathan's off screen because their computer system is back there. So we're gonna throw his face on screen when he's talking, just so you guys can see what a handsome guy he is. <laughs> you sure you don't want to start with pink? Oh, oh pink. Let me tell you, oh, whoa. Oh, Strawberry yeah. lemonade. We call it the, uh, 
and Barney spec. Looks like the Nevera. All right, let's try and get it to uh, to a green. Yeah. Do you have anything a little lighter than that? Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's see. And then let me get rid of the the yellow as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's not really working. That's looking a lot closer. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. I think that's really cool. And that looks a little bit closer to that, which I personally like a lot. It's more metallic, obviously. That's going to be yeah, this, So this has a good bit more yellow uh, in it. I was going to say the, the center one looked more yellow, but that doesn't look... That looks closer than the last one did. Yeah. What about multicolored seats? You know, Tommy was talking about that earlier. <laughs> are, you, are you convinced? <laughs> like one seat, one color, no, we've one talked seat about it. We, we, haven't, we haven't done that before, but we've seen yeah. it before, obviously, in other hypercars. I never saw it. I you think, mentioned it. I think it's really cool. I've seen it on an Elva once before. Yeah, okay. And it was really, really cool. Um, that, that looks, that's getting closer, in my opinion. Yeah. Do you want carbon mirror caps? Do you want painted mirror caps? Um, I think we, carbon. let's see what they look like in carbon. Where else can we do uh, carbon? Like the door? Door yeah. louvers, we're gonna definitely need to look at those wheels in a little bit too. So one of the, the biggest areas is side blade. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that can be carbon as well if you wanna see that. Yeah, for sure. I like it because it, it kind of, it breaks up and highlights that intake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we- I, Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Even okay. when we optioned my Urus, we did like every piece of carbon that you can get. Yeah. On a three hundred thousand dollar car. Is there right? too much carbon? Does that exist? So oh, this good. is another piece. This vent behind the front wheel that can be carbon as well. Can you zoom out a little bit on it so we can kind of see full side view? Oh, that. Oh, that one kind of hides. So that's nice. That one's mm -hmm. subtle. Yeah, the door livers look really nice. Are we fully carboned out as far as what you guys typically will include on the car? Then. Yeah, as far as um, carbon goes, you have every standard carbon option that we offer. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Up to full carbon body, but. Yeah, up to full. Exactly. Yeah. I ain't got full carbon body money. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other wheel? options that you guys do on the Revolution Roadster? But, I mean, in terms of different designs, this is the lightest, by far, lightest wheel that we make. How much, uh, do you know how much they weigh? 19 pounds wow. each. Are they flow formed? Are they forged? These are forged aluminum. Okay. This was a huge development to get the weight down on these. Let's stick with that then. I mean, it's kind of like the, the Yesco where you talked me into the $120,000 carbon wheel because they <laughs> spent so much time. Yeah. I would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> so do you guys have the American flag on the wing? On, yeah, Nathan, on can we render that on? I yeah. want to see if it would look funky against the green. You'd be surprised how many things I've ended up doing out of mistakes in, the, in my business life, even in specking where something got f***ed up and we're like, wow, that actually, dude. <laughs> dude, that is hilarious. <laughs> this is American. Can you imagine yeah. just driving a Taco Bell and you see that women pass you 200 miles an hour on the highway? <laughs> that, that just like screams like Ricky Bobby. Here's the deal, I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. That yeah. makes me want to go fire a shotgun and eat some like brisket. <laughs> so, I mean, it's settled then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, thank you guys. That was fun. Yeah. Well, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Could you add black stripes to the front? Do you have those two pinstripes? It doesn't go underneath the H like you just saw. It's oh, more yeah. sexually kind of shit. Yeah. Makes, why does yeah, okay, there you go. He's got it here. Why does that give me La Ferrari vibes? It's pretty sharp. I think, it, I think it's, it's pretty cool. the same point. For real. Mm -hmm. But they're very, they're super nice. I think it makes the car look even more aggressive. Yeah. Do you guys have the carbon H on the front of the car? Yes. So that little, something, an accent like that, what would that add to the, because if this is like a 50 grand, I'm like, well, it's probably not worth having that. So livery, what, what accent? What, the oh, livery that you have on there, is that livery one, Nathan? Yeah. It's 50 well, grand. Okay. Did you put a lower pinstripe too? Livery one really means like simple pinstripe. Okay. Understood. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you're missing out on? That I you mean, guys I've are never... like, this car needs this. On the exterior. Um, exterior. I'm going to look through your list too while he's talking uh, about that. I mean, I personally really like the pinstriping on the rocker, on the dive, dive planes, on the front splitter. Where, where would the pinstriping go without rendering it? It's on the bottom rocker at the very bottom. It's a green. It would be in green, likely in green in this spec. What do you think? It's worth looking at. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. This is the benefit of specking it right here is I'm looking out and seeing 10 different Venom F5. So we're just going to go look and see what that looks like, see if it should go satin. Let's validate a few other things that we've picked. So on the front of this is what you have on your front clam so far. Yep. So it's similar, this same, this same oh, line. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's what <laughs> that's that would right. look like. That, that looks good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's, is that actually John's? This car? Yeah. Yeah, this is John's car. Oh, this is John's, okay. Yeah. That's his daily. <laughs> yeah, exactly. John Hennessy's daily that driver right there. That's, a, that's what we drove. Oh, this one, oh, that's a coupe. That's why it doesn't. Yeah, I so, personally really like the polished, but that's just my pin. And but you can change both the cap, the gas cap and the, the finish on that. Do I have the the glass exposable as an option on that? Yes, it's standard as a, for Revolution Roadsters. 
Oh, it is it not standard on this car, on the coupes. Okay. The road traverse is standard. It. On the render, it looked like it was solid. That contrasts the engine really well, yeah. actually. And so there's, there's silver H's on the wheels yeah. and the gas cap. I don't know so. if I would want, well, yeah, yeah. I that way it sticks out a little bit. Leave them silver? I think you do because of the engine. If the engine wasn't there, I think that would be much more. Yeah. But I think that, that goes great. I think you guys did the pinstripe will be similar to this. It will not have that line that comes across. Okay, underneath. yeah. Yeah. This is a full exterior accent. So the rocker or the uh, dive planes have accent oh, color. Oh, I love those. Which we did that on the mm -hmm. Senna. And if you look, this is also accent colored. That wasn't on yours. Yep. Um, so you can get pretty creative. This, I think the, the yellow along the side is really cool, but I think with your sample is might be too much. And, and what I was saying earlier, as far as the rendering system, that's all black as standard. That's all carbon. Yeah, oh, that's right. It's not painted green, obviously. So what he's saying is what the computer doesn't show is they can't render it. The full back looks green right now, but it will actually have carbon rear arrow piece, carbon, whatever that thing is, and then around the exhaust and bumper portion. So that's a huge perk that it's got even more carbon. Steve, there's two things I want you to see over yeah. here. The first is what Nathan is mocking up now is yep. ghosted into the carbon oh, yeah, as Hennessy, cool. which I think looks pretty cool. That is very neat. It's pretty subtle detail, but it's cool detail. No, I think that's great. Yeah. And then the other thing would be what your roof would look like, because right now the rendering does not have a roof on it. Yep. This is what your roof looks like. So carbon it's all carbon. exposed carbon. Oh, and then that matches with the body line. Yeah, and then you'll have your line. paint match that, that follows cool. the body line. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's a lot of carbon yeah. included. Let's go look at the uh, interior, maybe. Oh, we're getting a sneak peek oh, okay, on the cool. interior. Basically, you know, all black with some, I'll make these green green yeah. accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about the dash being green? Would you prefer it black or would you prefer it green? Right now, the full, the, it's the front, as green as it gets, dash, right? Yeah. I think, I, I love bold interiors. Even doing this black. I think the reflection is, is going to be horrible. It will be horrible. I, I green, think do, green. I think do we black. have a customer, that gold car down there, it has a white front dash and yes. it is like insane. That looks kind of cool, the dual seats, I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty neat. But I think black dash, but then more green accents on the Yeah, doors. do the door card green and the dash black. Black. And now you saw the steering wheel match in the black car. That has a so it's accented yellow. It has a yellow yellow steering wheel. I definitely like the matching steering wheel. Okay, I think that'd be cool too. The green steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, I think a green yeah, steering wheel. Cool. It might get dirty, but we can always we'll protect it. Maybe just the green stitching is the move. I love that yellow wheel. With how crazy is the wheel? Is cool. So crazy. So well, I, we've got over a thousand miles on that. It doesn't look worn at all. So yeah. That's, that looks pretty badass. Yeah. We basically have our interior all done. I think that this car is probably 90, 95% of the way, um, every time that we've done a spec, we've come really close to what we've ultimately launched. Uh, the Bugatti Chiron SS is exactly as we listed it on the video, yeah. right? Through Mac Navera. So this is the new Hennessy Venom F5. Did I even add any cost options at this point? Just the just the pinstriping potentially? The the only thing is yeah, the pinstriping and then metallic paint also, yeah. Metallic paint is- yeah, 50 grand. Sheet. All right, I got you. That makes yeah. sense. Paint is paint is expensive. Yeah. So I was pretty cheap on the options. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, that's where we make our money is in the upsells. This no, a lot of our, I mean, really, a lot of our options are no cost because I think at this price point, you're it's already true. kind of paying for yeah. what you, you should get. You I guys think. build a, a highly optioned car where the yeah. options are just free. We're not going to nickel and dime somebody when yeah. they're going to spend $3 million on a car. I like it that. Let us know what you guys think about the spec. Uh, we've been here longer than you probably even realize. We're probably going to miss our flights, but you know what? That's okay because <laughs> we worked good. really hard and they worked really hard. Thank you guys so much yeah, for all course. the work on this. Let us know what you guys think. We would love your input because ultimately we value your opinions and that's what we want to build. American flag paint? Are we gonna throw that on the <laughs> <laughs>